This is Litcode question number 777, swap adjacent in error string. This is medium question. Let's get into it. Uh, in a string composed of L and R and X character, like RXX, LRX, RXA, a move consists of either replacing one or crossing of XL with LX, or replacing one or cross of RX with XR. Given the starting string start and end string end. Uh, return true if and only if there exists a sequence of moves to transform one string to the other. Okay, let's check with the example one. Okay, before that, okay, I will explain the question. Okay, the, there are the two type X L and R X. This means if the let's see with the X, X and then L means this character going to left side. And then not only this position, also it able to move here. Also able to move any place in X. In this case there are a lot of X here, right? So beside X, this one able to move. Alex is this one is the uh, symbol of right, so it also able to go to right any place. So in this case, I will move to R, move to here, so X R, and then L also move to here, so L X, so R also move to here X R, and that this R is the, did not move. Last, this L is going to here. So this one is the return true. <clears throat> How are you gonna do? Okay, let's check with the example. Mm -hmm. This is start, and this is end, and then, okay. First, um, my approach is first I will get rid of every X and I will next I will check the right is the transform to right side from the start. And this is the position must be right side. That means R must be going to here and L must be going to here. So okay, let's check. Now I will put two pointer S and E. And index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So first, uh, if this is X, I will skip. But this is R is not X, so I will stay here. But this one is X, I will move 1. So now here, OK, let's check the R. R is going to right side. So this one is right side from here. And go it. Then the next time, L, L. And then L must be the left side. Okay, valid. Next. R is right side. Okay, valid. Check. R is the did not transform. Yes, that's also valid. Next. L, L. This is the left side. That is the reason why we need to turn true. So, uh, my approach is uh, exactly the same of this uh, workflow. Okay, let's implement the code. So first, I need two pointer, S and E, and then I will use, uh, I need the length of uh, the start to check the inboundary. So L is length of start. And then the length of start and length of end is the same because uh, constraint tell me length start and length end is the same. So no need to calculate n, and then we need s and e. And then I will iterate for start. Okay, I needed to check. Okay, I will use the uh, infinite pollute. And then first I will position s and e is, uh-huh. 
so while that in boundary in boundary with the s is smaller than l and uh -huh, start s is x i move to the next uh ears same E plus one and then now I will check the outer boundary if one of them is the going to end that is time to finish iteration that's right so in this case first I will check or s is l or e or n both of the sum of point is going to reach n I will return as l n e n n this means is one of them is rich one there are three cases. This is first case, and then second case is only E arrived first, and then last is the same. The same means that this one is the oldest valid, right? So in this case, that is the same. S also arrived, E also arrived. That at that time we return true. But one of them is did not arrived yet. We need to return that's right first. Because there are some character, yeah, it, uh, uh, unused character. That means we need to return first. So this one case, this case. So only this case I will return true. Otherwise, I will return first. And then next, two I will check. Mm -hmm. Okay, if a start character of s is r means and must be right side of r right but uh, if the e is the smaller than r that means r is here and x in this case we need to return first that means s is the bigger than e, right? So s is bigger than e, we need to return first. And then next, if start e is l, and same region, s is the smaller than e, we also return first. And then when you, uh, after we arrived at here, There are must be going here, so no need to do anything. So I will okay. Let's run the code. Oh, <laughs> I miss one thing. Let's finish one. S plus in the increase. L plus increase to next iteration. Otherwise, this going to unlimited loop. Okay, looks good. Nine fifteen. S is L, and then start. L is length of start. Out of range. Hmm, interesting. Okay. I miss one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, if start S must be same as in the S, right? So in this case, I will first. Don't miss edge case. Okay, let's run. Hmm? Oh, sorry.
Hmm. I like the XL. This one is too warm. Did not seem so the most. But this one is going to out of boundary. Okay, interesting. Oh, <laughs> ah, typo, typo, typo. Hmm? Oh, not a plus one. Ah, plus one. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry for waiting. There are the several types in here. Okay, let's complex. Let's check with the complexity. Time complexity. Okay, this one is. Let's assume the length of start is n. And that time we try to only the two time, so two n. So in this case, time complexity is linear time, and then constant space because we do not use any data structure. Thank you.